Hello and welcome to Matsumatsu's Made Easier channel. This is your favorite mathematics tutor, Comfort Amwakon Ata. I welcome you all to my class this moment. If today is the very first time of you joining my class, a special welcome goes to you. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please look down there and click on the subscribe button to subscribe. Then you also click on the notification bell to receive updates from me all the time. And you can just find this on YouTube by searching for Comfort Amwakon Atta or just search for Mathematics Made Easier on YouTube and you will get access to this tutorial and many others. All right, thank you so much. Now with this, In our previous lesson, we studied how to identify the signs, right? The symbols, the inequality signs, the less than signs, the greater than sign. So we said it is the less than sign. This is the greater than sign, right? Then this is the less than or equal to, less than or equal to is this sign with a little bar under it, right? Then greater than or equal to is the two. So less than or equal to, then greater than or equal to. You can read this based on where you are standing or based on the direction that you are reading from. So for example, if I have a less than five, I can read this to be a less than five, right? But if I'm reading from this direction, this becomes five greater than A. From here, it becomes A less than five. And from this direction, it becomes five greater than A. All right, so it depends on the direction where you are reading your mathematical statement from. All right, then we also learned how to represent these ones on a number line. Okay, and I believe you guys were able to solve the problems I, I gave under A, right? So today we are going to do a one-step inequalities. One-step inequalities. One step. It's just so simple. It's just a one-step. One-step inequality, okay? All right, one-step inequality. Okay, it's just one step. You don't need to go far, no. So let's start giving some examples. For example, if I have a minus three less than 10, how would I solve this? So I'll solve this. First, you need to identify the operations here. We are dealing most with the inverse operations. I you know we have four operations. We have the addition, we have the subtraction, we have the multiplication, and we have the division, right? Now, if you take the addition, the inverse operation for addition is what's multiplication. If you take the, oh, sorry, it's subtraction. If you take the multiplication, the inverse operation for multiplication is what is division. All right, so you are going to set, center all our focus on these four signs. All these four operation signs, operational signs. Okay, so now we have a minus three. What is the inverse operation of minus three? And that becomes a plus three. So this becomes a minus three plus three less than. Now, those are inequalities, and you should make them your uh, statement to be balanced, okay, or true. So whatever I do to the left-hand side, make sure I do the same thing to the right-hand side. So we, we added three to the left-hand side, so we need to add three to the right-hand side as well, right? Good. So sorry for that. All right. Okay. So whatever I do to the left-hand side, don't forget to do the same thing to the right-hand side. Now, what is minus three plus three? And that gives us what? Zero. So this is giving us a, now this whole thing is of less than what, 13. And that gives you your final answer. 
Now, when you get the answer, you can now represent it again on a number line. So it depends on the question. Maybe solve and also represent it on a number line. If it's in that case, they need to solve it. And after that, you present that on a number line. So you number it 1 to 13. So this is a 13. This is a negative 13. So now you start on positive 13. Where is the sign moving towards? It is a less than sign. So it moves towards the left direction like this. All right. Move towards the left direction. Okay. Let's go to, let's do one or two examples before we use our program or our software to do it. All right. So now let's see we have um, C plus 10 greater or equal to three. All right, this is so simple. What do we do? Identify the sign being used over here. So what is the purpose or what is the aim of using the inverse operation? It is to get rid of the number attached to the letter, okay? To make the variable stand alone, to find for the value of C or to find for C or to solve for C. So in this case, this becomes C plus 10. What do we do? Minus 10. Then greater or equal to 3 minus 10. So what is 10 minus 10? That gives us what? Zero. Leaving us with C greater or equal to what? Negative 7. Negative 7. And you can represent this on a number line. So you have your number line. Good. With your arrowheads, you number them. This is your positive seven, and this becomes your negative seven, right? Good. Now we start on negative seven, right? Perfect. Then we move towards the right direction because this is a greater than sign. But don't forget, this is greater than or equal to. Greater than or equal to. So it means we need to fill the circle. So when it is all equal to, then you fill your circle, right? Meaning the negative seven is inclusive of your numbers or it is part of your values of C. All right. I believe you guys are getting it right. Now let's practice. Okay, let's solve the last one. Let's solve the last one. Let's say we have a divided by five and it is less or equal to 10. This is also very simple. How do we do this? This is dividing. What is the inverse operation of division? And that gives us what multiplication. So this is a, or this becomes a divided by five times five right so times five then less or equal to ten whatever i do to the left hand side I do the same thing to the right hand side so this and this simplifies out leaving us with what a less or equal to 50 good so always check whatever number you need to take off or you need to separate from your variable, then you apply the inverse of that number. All right, okay. So those, you can get this on TikTok, you can get this on YouTube, right? Because I recorded it live on TikTok as well. Now technology, the world is becoming a technological world. So we have so many ways of getting information. And these are some of the ways. Instead of us using it the wrong way, we now use it in the right way to our benefits. Okay, let's see the last one. We have 3x. 3x um, greater than 9. This is also very simple. 3x greater than 9. What do we do? 3x means 
three five x right good so what is the inverse of uh, multiplication that gives us what division right so this becomes three x greater than nine so we just need to divide both sides of the inequalities by the coefficient of the variable when you say coefficient that is a number attached to the letter i have explained all these ones in my previous lessons so if you have forgotten you can go back to it to revise it right so divided by three so now when you are simplifying three divided by three is one then three goes into nine how many times three times so you are getting x standing alone now that was our focus greater than three and again you can represent this on a number line all right and you can also mention the values that stands you know x represents some numbers or some values and if x is greater than three those numbers start from what four all the way up to infinity. Okay, so now let's use our software to practice to make some practice, all right? So we are going to use first, we are going to use IXL. So on IXL, it is very simple and very easy for kids to use because when you get it wrong, it will even take you through the steps to get it right so it is self explanation uh true it helps you to learn on your own so i excel we have inequalities and we are going all the way to one step inequalities let's see one step let's see we have graphing of inequalities we are using um the signs to compare you know the signs the focus of the sign is to what, compare things. The less than, the greater than is just to compare. So let's click on this. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh oh. So, Finicoli, I thought I saw one. So let me go to J. All right, J is level, that's grade six, so it's a help grade six and grade seven kids. All right, so let's try this out. This is solve multi steps, but this one is solve one step. All right, I think this is better. All right. Okay, so we have a. Uh, I excel ready for practice, right? Mm. Okay, so the first question is solve for Z. Solve for Z. So how do you solve for Z? It is for Z greater than eight. So for Z means four times Z. So what do we do? What is the inverse of multiplication? And that is division. For Z greater than eight. So it means you need to divide both sides of the inequalities by the number attached to the letter or by the coefficient of the variable. So by four, by four, simplify out and you are getting two. So you are getting Z, Z, sorry. Okay, you are getting Z, uh -oh. okay, Z, greater than two that gives us our final answer awesome 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 all right so awesome. let's go we have k divided by two less than two k divided by two less than two so how do we solve this k divided by two needs to apply the inverse operation of our division um, which is multiplication. So k divided by two less than two. This becomes k divided by two times two less than two times two. When you simplify this, you are getting k less than four. K being less than four. 
let's see. Oh, okay. Less than four. This is so simple. You just have to know the inverse operations and which ones apply at each point inside. Okay, we have 2w greater or equal to 10. So 2w means 2 times w, right? You remember that? Good. 2w means 2 times w. So it means we, we apply the inverse operation, which is a division. So 2w greater or equal to 10, it means divided by two, divided by two, you simplify out and you are getting, let's see, two, oh, sorry, W greater or equal to five, right? Or equal to five, or equal to five. That is awesome. Okay, let's go. I'll solve some few more questions and then leave you to do some practice on your own. Okay, so we have h divided by two greater or equal to two. Again, you apply the inverse operation. So this is giving us h as we did for the previous one. So this is giving us h. Okay, so h greater or equal to what, four, because you're going to multiply two by two, and you get four, right? Okay, so you apply the inverse operation over here, giving us S less than, you divide eight by four, and also four S by four, and so you're getting two, you're getting two as your final, Answer. When you get an answer, you can put it back into the expression to see whether your answer is correct or not. Again, we have J. Let's see whether we can do this for that. J plus 9 greater than 6, right? So we have J greater than 6 minus 9. This will give us a negative 3. Because 6 minus 9 is negative 3. Am I correct? Hmm. If you fix that here, negative 3 plus 9 will give us what? 6. It's that by the equation. So we have j greater than negative 3. Well done. Good job, guys. You guys are doing very well. You're amazing. Okay. You're amazing. All right. So let's see. Okay. Let's go solve for M. Right. Solve for M. We have M plus 4 less than negative 15. So what do we do over here too? You have to apply the inverse operation, which is a minus 4. So M. Less than negative 4, negative 15 minus 4, which is still giving you a negative because 2 negative. Negative 15 minus 4 will give you negative 8 and uh, negative 19, right? So m less than negative 19. Perfect. All right. The last example, guys. But, um, I just finished with an online class with a set of students, so I'm quite exhausted and I need to rest a bit. <laughs> All right, so let's see this one. We have six, six greater or equals negative six z, right? So what do we do? Six greater or equals negative six z. We divide both sides by not only six, it is negative six. Negative six by negative six, right? So now this and this cancelled out. This and this cancelled out. You are leaving this and this one. So you are getting negative one less or equal to what z or z or sorry negative one greater or equal to z or z less or equal to negative one. In either way, you will be quite correct. All right. So let's see. 
if negative one greater or equal to z and that should give you oh oh negative one oh get away so i don't know why may sometimes glitch so glitch i don't know why they should give us wrong but we should get it correct in either ways we write this okay so let's go it's okay we have um let's see this we have two two less than r divided by two we apply the inverse operation which is a multiplication so you are getting four less than r right okay or r greater than four you should get it correct either r is greater than four or four is less than r so four four is less than r should give you correct okay excellent we have um q q minus 13 greater or equal to one right okay so q minus 13 greater or equal to one oh sorry guys <laughs> uh q minus 13 greater or equals one so what do we do here we need to move either the number to the other side or the sign to that side either way should get it correct so you are maintaining the q here bring the sign greater or equals to the one plus 13 but this will give us q greater or equal to 14 so q greater or equal to 14 and you should get it correct all right so guys this is how far i can bring you now we're able to treat uh we're able to identify the signs first that was the initial thing we did we identified the inequality signs the less than the greater than the less than or equal to let me do it well for you to see Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, okay. The less than, the greater than, the less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, depending on how you are reading it from. You can use your hand to represent it. All right. Then also we're able to um, identify the values based on our statements and read it, read their statements, read their inequality statements and explain it interpreting inequalities all right we're able to do that we're able to represent it or graphing we're able to do graphing of inequalities correctly now you've taken a step forward by solving a one step inequalities one step inequalities good so we can now move on to multiple steps of inequalities multiple steps of inequalities then we now move gradually. By the time you realize we are solving complicated problems of inequalities, it's all start from the scratch. Know the basis and you now can now apply the basis or the fundamentals to solve um, higher problems or higher yeah, questions. All right, thank you so much for your time and attention. I believe this tutorial was helpful. If it's not, do not forget to give me a thumbs up down there. And also, do not forget to follow me for more tutorials. So, we meet again. Please stay safe during this summer. Learn alongside. Stay safe. All right. Bye.